Hi there fellow guitarists, I'm Josh Rogers, welcome to NBN Guitar. In this tutorial we're going to be covering Air on a G String by Johann Sebastian Bach. As you may or may not know, this is the week that we all kind of celebrate his birthday over 200, and, I think it's 267 years ago. And isn't it wonderful that we can still play his music today. Anyway, I'm not going to muck around for too long before I start teaching this piece to you. It's not overly complex, there's a couple of things to watch out for, but uh, I'll explain those as we go. If you want the tabs, make sure you click on the link below. And also, while I'm at it, I'm launching a brand new website that should be ready in about three days or four days after the filming of this. Those free tabs are there, you just have to sign in and become a member, just leave your email address and your name. And those tabs are free, so you just sign in and become a member. And there's also a premium membership, and that entitles you to unlimited downloads of the upgraded tabs. The upgraded tabs are basically a new name for tabs that have fingerings for both hands. Uh, some of you may think that's not that important, but let me tell you this. Those fingerings, even I use fingerings when I'm learning uh, some pieces that have been transcribed by other people. The fingerings can take so much effort out of what you have to do. I mean, you may have to change a few here and there just to suit your own physiology, but for the most part, fingerings can really, really give you some ideas. And especially if you're a beginner guitarist, those fingerings can be extremely helpful and they can actually accelerate your learning. But anyway, that's it. Make sure to like the video if you like it and uh, check me out on Instagram and Facebook as well. And I've also got a blog. Anyway, let's do this. It starts out in the key of C major and we start with actually a C major chord, which is quite nice. That's third fret on the A string, first fret on the B string, and we're going to be playing the fifth, third, first and second strings together like this and then we just hit that bass note again on the third fret of the A string so it's two of that and then we're gonna just move one finger to the second fret on the A string and do the exact same thing again then we're gonna move that finger again to the second fret of the G string and do the exact same thing again but with an open A now on the bass then leave that there and put your third finger up on the third fret of the sixth string and do the exact same thing again. Okay, so that's going to sound like this. Okay, and you may notice in there, you don't have to do this, but when I'm playing it, I'd like to use a rest stroke in the thumb. Just gives it a sort of a more mellow sound. And then finally we're on to this. There, we're actually still holding that. You could, if you had the ability, you could just move your fingers around like that, but that's impractical. So we're just going to swap these two fingers for these two fingers. So they're going on the first fret of the B string, second fret on the G string. And this finger is going to come up to the first fret on the sixth string. And you're going to play the sixth string and the first three strings together. So that comes after this chord. So you just do that once. Then you're going to have this. Now that's a really big stretch there. Some people can do this really easily. For me, man, it's a struggle. But anyway, you've got to do it. Uh, if you're really having trouble with it, just substitute this F in so you can do it like that. Third fret on the fourth string and fifth fret on the first string together. But you know, this is the way that uh, most people do it. That's first fret on the sixth string and fifth fret on the first string together, followed by first fret on the first string, like this. Then you've got second fret on the sixth string and then third fret on the B string together. Then to the first fret on the B string. So from here. Then that's the second fret on the sixth string again and open B together. Then to the first fret on the B string. Then Third fret on the sixth string, open D, open G, and first fret on the B string together. Then you're gonna do, you're gonna pick the open string and do a rapid trill. That's just going from open to first and back as quickly as you can. And then you've got the third fret on the sixth string and open B together. Then second fret on the G string. From here. First fret on the 6th string and open G together, and then split the two. So you do it together, and then 6th string, open G. From the beginning. Then we've got an E minor chord. 
chord. Open six, three, two, and third fret on the first string at the same time. That's second fret on the D string and open B, followed by second fret on the G string. Then open D and third fret on the G string, like this. Then open D, third fret on the first string together. Then that third fret on the G string again from the E minor. That's 4th fret on the A string and 2nd fret on the G string together, followed by an open E, that little sequence. Then we've got this beautiful little run up, and I like to do a crescendo here. Crescendo just means gradually get louder, so we've got this. Okay, so we have 4th fret on the A string and 3rd fret on the G string together followed by 2nd fret on the G string. And then, same kind of idea, open A and 3rd fret on the B string together, followed by 2nd fret on the B string. So from here. Then, open A, 3rd fret on the 1st string together, followed by 1st fret on the 1st string. When I get to this one, I actually take the time to bar 2 strings first two strings because of what's coming next. So there, I'm doing that little bar. And then I'm strumming a D minor chord. Open D, 2nd fret G string, 3rd fret B string, 1st fret 1st string. From the E minor chord. minor again but don't play the first string so it's just the D string G string and B string and you'll see why I did that bar because it's followed by the first fret on the B string then that is the third fret on the A string second fret on the G string third fret on the B string together then open E and then you're gonna play those three again plus the first fret on the first string together from the lead up. So we've got that chord, followed by the third fret on the B string. Then we have second fret on the A string and open G together, followed by a third fret on the B string. Then 2nd fret on the A and G string together, followed by open G, so you've got, then, 3rd fret on the 6th string, 1st fret on the B string together, followed by open B, then, that 3rd fret on the 6th string again, 1st fret on the 1st string together, followed by open E, it's a lot like this, but this time it's, Idea though. Let's go from the E minor chord. And then we're back to the opening chord. Mm -hmm. 